Welcome to the Suze and Julia show. We're at my studio in Salt Lake City, Utah. My good friend Suze Weinberg has come to do some videos with us because we love sharing this stuff. We are going to show you how to do faux jade today, which is a UD process, and that's Sue's specialty. I'm going to show you how to make a beautiful faux metal setting to put it on to make a pin or a necklace. Take it away, Sue. Let's get started. First thing you need, of course, is your melting pot. We're going to use some clear ultra-thick embossing enamel, a little bit of white ultra-thick embossing enamel, some green to dye for, a tiny bit of flex, and the Cool Tool spatula. And let's get started. What we do is we preheat the melting pot empty for five to ten minutes and then we're going to pour in a little bit of clear UD. Then just cover your pot and let it melt. Second step is to add just a tiny little bit of flex for UD and just allow this to melt and cover. After the flex is melted, use your cool tool spatula and just gently integrate the flex into the UD. Go slowly or you'll get too many air bubbles. If you get air bubbles, you simply take your heat gun and wand over the surface to break them. Next step is to add a couple of drops of green to dye for. This is a heat safe ink. Don't put anything else into your melting pot that isn't meant for heat. And now we're going to stir again gently to integrate the green. Now the secret ingredient is to add just a tiny little sprinkle of white ultra thick and then stir. And what you've done is turned the transparent green into an opaque color that resembles jade. And it's just fascinating to watch this color take hold. And again, if you see I air like bubbles, this. just wand over it with your heat gun and they'll burst. Our next step is to pour the jade into a mold. Now, of course, you can make your own mold with our mold and pour, but today we're going to use molds that we bought at IKEA. And these are silicone rubber. I've used them before in some projects. They need no release and they're flexible. And today we're going to pour a little heart. So you simply lift your melting pot and pour gently into your mold. You can fill up as many as you like and just allow it to harden. Sometimes I get impatient. That's when these little handy dandy fans come in handy. <laughs> that was a good one, Julia. <laughs> it was funny. As soon as the ultra thick hardens, it will pop right out of the mold. And if you find that the surface is a little bit dull, again, just use your heat gun and wand over it and it'll bring the shine back. Now, Julia's going to take this beautiful little heart and create an exquisite piece of jewelry, and she's going to show you how to use her brand new Flourish stamp set. Good <laughs> job, Suze. I know. <laughs> I tried, Julia. It's called Flourishes and Flora. You know, there's some flowers Flourishes on there. Flourishes and Flora. I hope you all got that. If you can say it ten times, you win. Flourishes and Flora. Right. You go to it, Miss Julia. Thank you. Can I have that little heart? It's yours. Here we go. Now, for those of you that haven't seen me do faux metal treatments, you can go to our website and look up faux hardware for faux metal and get this, but we're going to do a little twist on it, and it's really easy, easy to make this look like a metal setting. We've just layered cardstock squares. We've glued them together with a glue stick. I'm going to use a little bit of water. These are perfect pearls. Remember, these are mica pigments. They've got all the resins and binders in them, and so you don't need to do anything else to make them stick to paper. These are going to dry permanent on here. And this is the patina kit this is the gold it's a it's a heritage gold it's a very antique looking gold we're just using enough water to get this paint on here now with this dampness we're going to add a little patinas this is patina green which is part of the patina perfect pearl line 
and I just I used green because I thought it'd be gorgeous with the jade and I can't resist a tiny tiny little bit of this rusty color which is this is the um, bronze from the metallics kit it's a little bit of rust on the corners and there you have it now I wanted this to look like an old sort of a beat up piece of metal and this is how I age it I, okay the end of a brush not a fancy tool I know but it works great to give that hammered effect we also took a rubber mallet and put some linoleum tacks in it sorry about the pounding And if you just pound a bunch of dents and things, you get a really great old metal piece. Now, I wanted to make this look like a like uh, it had an old filigree on it that was maybe beat up and covered up through time. And so I'm going to take this stamp. This is actually a corner flourish, but it makes a really beautiful sort of a filigree over this metal treatment. So I'm using a permanent ink. It's an archival ink. And I'm just going to stamp onto the piece. Now it's very faint, which is what I like. You don't want this stamp design to take the piece over, but now look, it sort of is an old-fashioned flourish. Now I'm going to make this look a little more aged and rough up the edges. We just use a file or sandpaper, whatever you've got that'll rough them up. But I love that sort of a faint filigree look, and that is a great thing to do is just to stamp over. You can even sand on the top a little if you want. Now, the rest of the way we finished this setting, we just glued, you can see, a strip of beading, and on the back, took another panel and glued that on. So what we got was this lovely thing with a nice back. If you want, you could put the faux metal treatment on the back. Now, glue this on, put a pin back or a bail. Would that be a great pin? There you have it. I would even be tempted. I don't know, Suze, how about you? I'd be tempted to wrap that in some wire. Or, or how about some beads? Do it, Julia. Beads and wires. Beads and wires. Beads and wires. The more the merrier. We can't Glitch control up, ourselves with beads and wire. Beads okay, and wire. Okay, give me the Zamora beads. Okay, Click. they're coming. Pass this on to Sue to glitz up. It is her specialty after all. A few little Zamora beads. We'll make it perfect. Now tell them what glue you're using. I'm using Loctite Brush on Super Glue. It's one of my favorites especially because it's instant gratification. And I'm using copper Zamora beads, and this way they instantly stick. Now I'll fight you for who's going to wear it. I, I know. I was, <laughs> do you know what I didn't think of? We could have stamped a filigree on there, too. Well, next More time More ideas. Will. You do it. <laughs> <laughs> We've just had the best time doing this for you. It's so much fun. And we just thought you'd like to share in what a happy day we've had. <laughs> We're like this a lot. <laughs> we hope you laugh plenty today. Oh. And by all means, happy crafting. <laughs>